Hey, oh, everybody, it's Omni Bros live on a Monday. Paul's previews and reads. I'm Omni Dog, one of the Omni Bros, joined by my good friend Geo from A Week in Geekdom. How's it going, buddy? Uh, hey, everybody, happy to be here. Excited to finally be back on the show talking about comics and hanging out with amazing individuals, fellow nerds, and awesome people. Proud to be a nerd. <laughs> That's right, buddy. We're proud to be nerds. Uh, let's see. We are talking about Hall's previews and reads, and I'm gonna be talking weird for a little bit. Cause I got I threw away the paper. It's pain medicine that's a little sticky thing. Yeah. And you stick it on your cheek, inside cheek. Yeah. And it dissolves. It's like uh, gummy. It's like a gummy, not a gummy thing. It's a uh, like a tab, and it uh, mm. and it dissolves over a time period. But it's like right here, <laughs> and I, I I can't. If I close my mouth, it'll get all stuck to my teeth and stuff. But I needed to um, I needed to get it in so it can start working on my body. Yeah. Uh, so it's like right here. <laughs> um, you know, uh, yeah, Taylor Brown thinks I'm dropping acid too. No, it's a tab. <laughs> it's a little sticky tab. Where are you that it's 2 a.m. there, Zacharino? Where are you at, Zach? Where are you at? Are you uh, in the, um, the European theater? True graphic novel is here. Good evening, True Graphic Novel fan. Matt. Welcome, Dude, Matt. Matt. We haven't seen him forever. I know. I thought he abandoned us. Oh, and NFL D56, thanks for reminding me about the giveaway. That's tonight. Thank yeah, you we do have a giveaway. for the compliment on my shirt. Yeah, tonight's the IST giveaway. Speaking of IST, that's in stocktrades.com, where you can get your collected editions up to 50% off. Loyalty discount, <laughs> loyalty discount to add another 2% to that. Uh, saliva is like all jammed up in my throat right now. Um, and we give away a $50 gift card every month like we're doing tonight. In Stock Trades is kind enough to give us a $50 gift card to uh, give to viewers. And you can use that anywhere from, I mean, you can be anywhere and use it. Australia, New Zealand, uh, New York City, wherever yep. you want to be. Doesn't matter. $50. Yeah. You just have to pay for shipping. Uh, $50 in the United States. If you spend $50 or more on books, you get free shipping. Ooh, that's going to come in handy when that War of Kings, or not that War of Kings, what is it? Uh, uh, War of the Realms. War of the Realms. When that thing gets printed, it's going to be 1,500 Massive. pages, and yep. you will be happy you get free shipping just for that. Mm -hmm. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's in sucktrades.com. Oh, boy, I killed that. In sucktrades.com. <laughs> That's better. So uh, – We've got uh, a lot of people in the chat. We've got two Mirandas, Raphael Miranda and Matt Miranda. Whoa. Cool. There's a lot um, of people in the chat. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you for all uh, joining us. We uh, will be having finally woke up early enough. Usually people have to stay up late. Mudith had to get up early. Are you in, uh, where are you, in Indonesia or India or oh, I saw um, Bangladesh or Japan or something? Where are you? It's 5.30 over there. Bang. Where are you, though? 5.30 a.m. We're part of your morning routine. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, thank you, Zach, for saying you love the shirt. I appreciate that. It's an awesome and shirt. Matt, Jesus said that too. Thank you, buddy. Yep. Sri Lanka. He's from Sri Lanka. Cool. Oh, nice. 
I heard the beaches are nice there. Sri Lanka, formerly known, I believe, as Ceylon. Is that right? Uh, as, a young, so. as a young lad, I believe it was called Ceylon. And then they went, uh, they got their independence and they called it Sri Lanka. There, see? Uh, we learn a little bit every day. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Hooniverse. Uh, Gio, looking to get better at my Spanish comprehension. Where can I get comics in Spanish? Comicsology and Amazon selections are terrible. I, uh, I'm going to disappoint you, Hooniverse, and I have no idea, but give me a couple minutes while we're doing the show and I'll look it up. Because <laughs> I, I have some ideas of places, but I need to confirm those places exist. So give me a second while I look for it. Can you highlight? Ah, the untimely Omar. How's it going, buddy? Can't hear you. Nice seeing you, though. Bye. Can you highlight Eric Nelson's at 806? Uh, yes, 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 yes. This one? There yeah. Jess, Dodd Upper Wreckperd Stippery Dreams Come True. Did you get the new Britney Spears? Uh, Eric, I'm I'm sorry, I I only know English. I'm I'm not uh, familiar with what language that first one is in. Uh, so I apologize. I I do recognize Britney Spears. Um I I uh, I admire her talent. I, but I, I, uh, records. I, I don't understand the first part of that. Sorry. Rec, record store? Something. Okay. Rec, rec, record Stippery. Dodd. Record. Dodd Upper Record Stippery. I, that, that could be uh, Belgian. They have a lot of. <clears throat> yeah, I know Hooniverse. I'm jamming them up. Matt. Jay, are you still playing Overwatch? Uh, when a new event drops, I, I pop the disc back in and play. But uh, I've stopped. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to the Halloween stuff. But it, it's mostly to get the new stuff, to the new skins. Uh, Matt Miranda, I like it. I blame Jess and Beto for getting me into vinyl. Thanks, guys. LOL. Yeah. You guys got me into it. I was able to get out because I don't have space. <laughs> to add another hobby. But yeah, you guys baited me hard on that. I got a couple records myself. Uh, hey, friendos. What's up, Mr. Awesome? Hey, friendo. Uh, I did, Eric Nelson, to be honest, I did not participate in Record Store Day. Uh, I had a show that day with Kristen and I, um, there, I didn't see anything that I really cared about. Um, when was this? Saturday. I had no idea. Cool. Yeah, there are usually two a year, and I didn't. Um, I, I I looked at what was available, and at this point in my collecting career, and I have to really want it to participate um, in any kind of uh, competition for stuff. If it's going to be a limited edition record type of thing, then. I'm not going to do it. I'm especially not going to go. Uh, I don't know if they had physical record store day this year or not. Uh, I'm not going to. St I stood in line one year for record store day for like an hour. And that was about 59 minutes too long. <laughs> I uh, can imagine. Yeah. Okay. I, um, just to. Hey, Omar. How's it going, buddy? Uh, it's going good. Can you hear me now? Uh, what? Beautiful. Yes, Thank we you. can. Thank you. Thank Hello? you. You go to hell, Jess. Quit messing with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> How's it going? Did we already do the ads? Uh, we yes. did. Talked about that. What There's else? There's 107 about? people. 107. Hit, hit that hit like. That like. Yes. Please. Here's a cool question before we get started. Does Omnidog have any DC bombshell statues? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking forward to that answer. <laughs> Look at I, that. Let I, me I did more you. than turn it off and on, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Look at Thank them. you. They're lovely. <laughs> they are gorgeous statues. And then I have some more upstairs and right outside the door, but that's the main bombshell collection. I have four upstairs that my wife allows in the family room. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Look at my collection. <laughs> um, and then I have a couple outside the door there. And uh, let's see, what's your shirt about, uh, Omar? It's about uh, Sprite. I sold out. They're oh, now ad advertising. He's yeah, your new sponsor. They're now advertising my life, not just my show. <laughs> That's how every show I'm that saying. you're on, you have to be drinking a sprite from now on. I'm drinking wine, actually. No. Oh. But uh, how are you guys doing? Good. What are you? Are you? You're drinking red wine. Yes. What is the symbol on that glass? Is that like some kids? Yep. That's uh, Jack, uh, Jack Skellington. Skellington. My wife has Sally. Person. I have Jack. Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, no, I haven't seen that movie yet. Yet. It's only been out since 1989, right? <laughs> you, mean you haven't seen that movie yet. I don't know. I, I never think about it. <laughs> Just, that's, that's like three decades ago, man. I know. I It's it's kind of my secret shame. Uh, well, I guess if that's your only secret shame, it's not too bad. Oh, uh, I have a lot more than that, but that's what I'll... Uh, I'll admit to you right now. Mm. Classing it up with my awesome Jack Skeleton glass. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here's a question for you, Omar. <clears throat> Are there any previous delay, previously delayed Omnis confirmed to drop in October? And two, is the Infinity Gauntlet Omni reprint actually coming out in October? Uh, one, uh, War of the Realms. And what was the other? There was another book that was delayed until October. An epic. There's a couple of epics. I think New Mutants was one of the epics. It's been delayed until October. I, it's hard to keep up. It, it's it 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 it's it's hard to keep up with what's been delayed, especially when with DC. As far as Infinity Gauntlet, so far it's on the books. So hopefully, yeah, yeah. hopefully it'll come at the end of October. I believe is when it's due out. Uh, let's see. I missed a couple of questions here just recently did an episode on his channel oh yeah rafael miranda uh taylor and i on batter days in the back cub <laughs> batter days in the back cave <laughs> uh probably two months ago we talked about earth one uh all the books and that is on omni dogs vault on youtube oh we'd like to hear what our opinions are on earth one I assume uh, it's because well, of this. Wonder Woman Earth One Volume Three got uh, yeah. Today. I so saw that. That. Con that concludes that storyline trilogy. Ah, okay. It does. Is it Grant Morrison? It's the same yeah. team again. Uh, who's the artist? Yannick Paquet, or however Paquette. he says yeah. it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that yeah. guy. <laughs> In and out burger on me next time you come to NorCal, Jess. Right on, Matt Miranda. I know I can think of exactly what In and Out we can go to in Stockton. I know right where it is. Well, when are you planning on traveling? Do you know something I don't? Uh, 2023. That'll be oh. the next time I leave the house. Oh, you haven't left the house yet. Did you all kick Gabe out? <laughs> no, no, I clicked on it and he clicked on it at the same time. So we canceled each other out because we have the same uh, account. <laughs> no, I uh, honestly don't think my wife and I talked about it last night and we mm -hmm. don't think we're going to be doing any serious traveling uh, till best case end of next year. Best case, man. I, because... Um, we need we need the vaccine. Uh, we are of the age where we feel like we need the vaccine. Yeah, I think Everybody they're going. Needs... They should do it by age brackets, right? Not by uh, how much money you make. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> right? We've all read Contagion. We know what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So 
she she's older, a little older than I am, and we're really, not Patty. Traveling. She's four years older than I am. Wow, she's wow. aged gracefully. She's a cutie pie, huh? What happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> you know that's where I was going. <laughs> oh, I walked right into that. You sure as hell did. <laughs> on the, Be safe, on the 405. Watching live on the 405. Where's that? Yeah. Where's the 405? Eyes on the road. That is in L.A. L.A. Thank you, guys. Thank you for educating this guy. Uh, no Salma intro, Gabe. No, that'll be when Gabe gets on. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, it, 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 how does the in stock trades raffle work? It will be a random number generator. Is that, that today? From, Are we doing it? Is. Today? Oh, cool. yeah, that was from Diego. And, um, Are you gonna ask a question? Is that how it, we do it? Uh, no, I. I said that, and then a couple people said it's really not fair to newer viewers. Um, what kind of question did you ask, though? I haven't asked anything yet, but I, I, I was gonna, I was gonna make it. I didn't want to ask a comic book question that could be Googled really quickly. I wanted to make it an Omni Bros question. And oh then, yeah, said, well, that's not really fair to somebody just tuning in, and I. I sort of had to say, you know, you, you are right. So mm -hmm. I, I don't mind. It's, it's all right. Uh, random number generator is, uh, it's worked before. Yeah. As long as that person doesn't win, it's fine. And as long, what, you guys know who I'm talking about. Joe Chip? Okay. I know. Is the IST thing open to international viewers? Yes, it is. You just Always. Have to keep shipping. Yep. That, that should help with shipping. That person, I'm trying to think. <laughs> or, Jess has this huge list. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, Omar, did the Rosa Library set three come out? I found four and five sets solicited. Yeah, years ago. You're talking about the reprints? I think they reprinted one and two. No, one, two, and the fourth box set. I don't think they've reprinted three yet because that, that was still in print for a while. But I think they're going to try to make those evergreen, so they'll keep just keep keep an eye on it. Here's the question: What's Jeff's favorite run? Answer: Nightfall. Oh, Jimmy Owens has been paying attention for a while. It's not that Devin Grayson book. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I, oh boy! I, I need to I need to have everybody's buy-in before I do that video on for the Omni Bros channel. <laughs> I am going to be on fire on that thing, and I want to make sure everybody's comfortable with the level of uh, lawsuit material I'm going to be saying uh, for the channel. When we review Nightwing by Devin Grayson on Old Reader, New Reader, I'm going to have you as a guest. Uh, <laughs> you're the Devin Grayson fanboy. <laughs> I haven't, um, I haven't read that run, so I that would be I would be a new reader. It's uh it was it was weird, especially coming off of Chuck Dixon. Uh her I did like her Black Widow though. I thought her Black Widow was pretty good, but that's about the only book that I really liked that she did. Look at next imagine not using the big smart words at eight nineteen. What do you say? Where are you at? Uh eight nineteen uh, next imagine not. Uh I can't find it. This one? Yeah. Jess, you're making the smart play. The first round of vaccines will likely only be 70% efficacious, mm -hmm. and we may be stuck with that iteration for a while. That's exactly what I would have said, too. That nice That is a nice way to frame that uh, statement. 70% 70%, huh? That is an excellent vocabulary right there. Nice. Uh, Jess is too old to be a new reader. Okay, you earned yourself a timeout for the next five episodes. <laughs> oh, there is that we the go. Button? Oh my god, I thought I was the only one that used that gif. No, sir. Yeah. That's that's an all that around the, gift. Is that the Latino gift that we all that's, use? That's the announcement that Gabe's in the house. That's the Gabe signal. What's going Gabe's on, everybody? Signal. What's up, man? I'm doing great, Omar. Good to see you, dude. Good to see you too, man. Loved, loved, loved your last live show you did with your wife. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah she tries to join me on Saturdays. Yeah, um, that was great. 
to do it. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Uh, old reader, new reader, Squirrel Girl will be a fun time because both <laughs> you and I are not fun. So that, that oh, right. man. <laughs> what is that? What is it about Squirrel Girl? I know you can't get into it. And I really thought you would really like it, too, because it's your kind of. I thought so, too. It's your kind of humor, your kind of artwork. Yeah. yeah. I was Squirrel Girl is just another uh, Spider Gwen. Yeah, I was excited you. about it. How, how far did you read? Uh, the whole first hardcover. Hmm. Not enough. We need an omnibus, and you need to read all 48 issues of it. <laughs> yeah, your opinion is invalid. <laughs> give, <that up. laughs> give it a fair shot, <laughs> Jess. <laughs> the whole first uh, hardcover? You should grab me by that, don't you think? This is Omnibros live, right? Jess, you have to give it a fair shot. You have to read the whole omnibus. We know it's because you hate female characters, Jess. <laughs> yeah, right. And apparently female writers with Evan Grayson added to that list. Oh, man. You you were on a we roll. Got some for that on the Facebook group. On what happened? Group what? No, that's, people got into it. They were upset with your uh, take on it and with what you did. I, I was reading some of the comments. Yeah, some people had an issue with the fact that I poured root beer and tried to compare it to Nazi Germany. <laughs> you compared it to not, not yes. no, I didn't. Oh, okay, no. okay. They, I thought they you did. compared a book. I'm like, no, you can't do that. No, 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 no. They compared my pouring of root beer on it to book burning in Nazi Germany. Oh. That's what one knucklehead did. He equated it to bur book burning in Nazi Germany. The fact that I poured root beer <laughs> on that shitty book user by Devin Grayson. Wow. <laughs> this is why I've taken a break from social media for a, um, over a month now. It's it's a nice little break. Uh, I might be doing that too. Nazi oh. Germany. Wow. That is that was I mean that was just a little bit little bit of a stretch, you know? Like <laughs> Yeah, I, I uh, it's not like I was trying to uh, wipe out an entire culture and people. I was dumping root beer on a book that I bought. So that is ridiculous. And let's not talk about that anymore. Let's talk about hauls. Well, we've all hauled this week. Has anybody here hauled some books? I got Graphic one. Novels, I got one from edition. Just one. Oh, the young man down there in the Hey Arnold. Oh, also, uh, sorry. And time sorry. Omar swimsuit special. I think that yeah. Omar does win. Okay, first of all, <laughs> yeah. guys, I don't know how I'm going to do this overview. So Udon sent me this for, for an overview, and I was like, sure. So <laughs> you know, it's equal. It's equal opportunity though, because you know, there, yep. there's. Uh, Why is the shrink wrap still on there? Because I literally just got it. You so the pages don't get sticky. Yeah, I don't trust myself around this book. Unwrap look at, and look at Rose oh. Chun Li. Look at Chun Li's legs. My goodness. Here, I'll thick. open it up. Y'all, y'all do your hauls. Hashtag oh. thick thighs save lives, everybody. <laughs> Man, and that's what's the, that new say? This is the gold. gold the, yeah, yeah, the one uh, from Udon. I think the standard edition is why the standard edition was available before this thing because mm -hmm. because of the pandemic, Amazon got the books before even the people at Udon did. So that's crazy. Yeah. Okay, I we're still, ready. Wait, well, let me find let me find some good ones. All right, here we go. Kicking it off with my boy Ryu. Okay. Right there. Nice. You're not a fan of Ru. All right. And there's Chun Li and Cammy working out. I like girls, man. Well, Jess, we're <laughs> trying to. <laughs> All right, here we go. There's <laughs> <too special. laughs> All right, there we go. How about that? Now we're talking. Eh? And what, what about over here, Jess? Oh, yeah. Oh, if you only knew the story behind this chick, uh, this character. Yeah, uh, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah. I, I, think I don't know any of those characters. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep that to myself. <laughs> Omar, cool, you know man. better. Men don't care about anybody's backstory. <laughs> no, but it's a it's an interesting uh, story behind that particular character. Oh, look at that! Now, ah, uh, these this originated as a video game, and you're saying their backs did the backstory show up in the video game or the? Oh my gosh! Okay, I can't show that one, but I'll show <laughs> this one. Um, the backstories originated in the video game. Oh. Okay. 
and it's uh, from. They, oh God, I love that scene. <laughs> Holy smoke! And uh, what now? And it was in Final Fight. My goodness! Look at the amount of detail in that lightning. I don't see any yep. lightning. There's lightning. Yep. Wow! There's lightning okay. in there. Okay. But yeah, you know, this is just uh, it's the Udon swimsuit edition. Udon swimsuit edition, man. There's one. All right, here's a cute one right there. Blanca. <laughs> right nice. there. Blanca. Killing everybody in the water. So that that's all I got. Waiting for more stuff. Uh, I feel embarrassed to show anything now. That, Why? Because that, that wins. I mean, the internet for today as far as I'm <laughs> This wins the internet. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that book rocks. What a cool Wait, book. Did you play any any of these fighting games growing up, no, Jess? Let's see. 80. Trying to think. How, you know, I guess you were a little too old for yeah, arcades. That huh? That's late 80s, early 90s stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, I went into arcades. Uh, I just was never into fighting games. Mm, mm, mm. More more of a Frogger person, Jess? Uh, <laughs> I played Frogger, yeah. <laughs> what a bull. Frogger. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did play Frogger. Uh-huh. Um, did you put your quarter up, like, to call next? For Donkey Kong, you had to. When it first came out, you had to. I had to put a stack of quarters there. Uh, or you'd never get to play it. It was so popular. This was around, when did it come out? 1983, 82, somewhere in there, when the arcade cabinet was out? Yeah, had right. to have been late, late eight, or late 70s, early 80s, for sure. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I feel like it was 82 or 83, and that, that was super popular. I definitely played Centipede, uh, Roberto Rodriguez. I loved Centipede. Did you read the comic? I did. Yeah, that was a good comic. Comic was awesome, dude. Yeah. Comic was awesome. 81. Does it come with a rollerball? What's that? What's that? 1981. Yep. That sounds right. Uh, Asian Johnny Depp. Uh, Ray Park was at Torpedo this Saturday that just passed. You missed out on Ray Park. What was Ray Park doing at Torpedo? A signing? No, but did he write a book? No, I don't know how that came about. It's all of a sudden. I know. just, I just thought he was, uh, he had written a book or something. No, a comic. I mean, he was there signing like, like random GI Joe stuff and random Star Wars. It was just like a normal signing. He doesn't, he doesn't have a book. He had nothing to promote. Um, you should have been there with Liefeld signing. Uh, what's it called? Snake, Snake Eyes. Eyes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I should have brought it over there and got that signed. Cause that's a, that's a fun book. Uh, anyways. Uh, sounds like one of you all got a bunch of things, right? I got I got a stack of, sh of shit. I don't know about go for it. Jeff Jeff Let's always it. does. All right. Let's. All right. <sighs> Made it through the second week of Omnigeddon. Uh, I got the uh, there's a Paul Dini, Dustin Wynn, uh, Batman Heart of Darkness book. This beautiful. thing is, yeah, it's beautiful. It's pretty. It's pretty big too, man. It's a nice, good size Omni. Beautiful artwork on the cover. I know, the, and we, the artwork inside is great too. Anybody who's ever read uh, Heart of Hush or what was that Gotham City book? Streets of Gotham. Streets of Gotham. There you go. Yeah, beautiful looking books. Beautiful stories for sure. Mm -hmm. With that as well. Uh, Another big book that came out this week that disappeared, but we know there's going to be a restock, but Absolute Carnage Omnibus is in. Nice. I did a, a little bit of a photo kind of turnaround for this on my Instagram, Gabe Loves 90s Comics. Uh, I had a good week. I had a good week. Um, Peter David, Ooh. DM. Nice. Incredible Hulk Volume 1. How do you feel about that color? I know people, I, I, purists, really hate it. I don't like it, but it's it's. It, I'm going to see this all the time. This, <laughs> this is what I'm going to see. The cover, the color that is the background you're talking about. Yeah, it's it should have been the, purple, like a purple color, um, and it's like uh -huh. a. It's, it's it's this cover. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's been modernized, like the whole oh, yeah, the letters a lot nicer. Yeah. So. People don't like purists don't like covers like that. Like when the She Hulk 
whenever I put the She-Hulk covers up, I remember somebody shared it with John Byrne on John Byrne's form, and he made Marvel change it back to the original color. Oh, yeah, that's right. He, oh, yeah, okay. He was not a fan of uh, the She-Hulk recoloring. So, you know, there are purists out there that also like original colors. Yeah, I don't like the recoloring, but I, it's not I kinda, my Honestly, I, I kind of dig that. It's not that bad. I have my bad. hopes up for it to be the original old school cover. Mm. Usually that's how it works on these books. The DM is like the old school covers. And usually they don't they don't touch them up, but you know, it is what it is. No big deal. Yeah, yeah. I honestly I never I didn't think about this. I, I remember people complaining about it when it first came out. Never thought about it again until you asked me today. So I don't care. So nothing for yeah. me to worry about with that. Uh speaking of recoloring, oh I'll I'll touch back on that. Uh speaking of omnis. And uh, taking a hit for the team. All Everybody, right. coming up soon, ah. Jonah Hex Omnibus is <laughs> going to get announced. I've, I already had volume one, but I found at a local store every other volume. Nice. Those are so great. Yeah, these yeah. are absolutely fantastic. It is. I don't know how we don't have an omnibus of this. I don't already. know how we don't have an omnibus. I don't know how we don't have covers for this. I don't know why this isn't uh, like a movie. I know there was a movie that was that was hot garbage, but this is the kind of uh, story that a movie or a uh, HBO Max series or something like that would be great for for Jonah Hex for sure. To crime, we don't have that kind of stuff. Uh, this is all done, uh, not all done, but the most part all done. Jimmy Palmiotti and Justin Gray. Lots of different artists uh, in these books. I used to have, I probably had like 30 or 40 issues of this book when it was coming out. And every every story is basically like a one and done story. And it's different art almost throughout every book. So most of the books, besides like one or two copies, our issues here and there are one and done stories, fantastic Western stories. If you like Western stories, especially if you just got off of reading like Six Gun, like this Jonah Hex is 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 fantastic. Also, it's not weird Westerny kind of stuff like Six Gun, but just great all around, awesome uh, cowboys and Indians, fun stuff. And uh, also for the Jeff Lemire. Complete is out there. You're gonna to need to get these two because I think Jeff Lemire does one or two uh, stories in the series. So some awesome Jeff Lemire art in there as well. So do you uh, have our westerns too? I don't. No, um, I want to though. I don't. I don't. Those are really those. good too. Yeah, yeah they're they're great. It, it follows up this stuff perfectly. Yeah, they're, they're they're hard to find a little bit. I think. Oh, they like the off their westerns are. I yeah. think so. One uh, one or two are. Uh, I like the tie-in to the uh, death of the family, too. How they were able to tie it to the Waynes and stuff. Oh, that yeah. was really cool. That was. Yeah. That um, that is some solid story reading right there. I love that Jonah Hex and All-Star Western. Yeah, run. this is top-notch stuff. This yeah. is... This at the time and it was coming out was better than almost anything else on the shelf. And it, I don't know how the sales were or whatever, but this was an underground hit for sure. This is fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff. Don't let, don't let it, don't let the fact that it's not superheroes scare you guys off. Like everybody out there should be grabbing some of these. You don't need to get all of them. You can just get them. Oh, super chat from Jimmy Owens. Thanks, Jimmy. Jimmy. Thank you guys. Thanks for all the love and supporting. Doing a rough patch. Yeah, you doing a rough patch. Yeah, man. Yeah. Appreciate we it. Noticed, we notice when you're not here. Yeah. And you help take us, everybody else here, you all help us take out of our rough patches too. That's true. It's a good time, a good way to get our minds off of things. Yeah. Uh, Jeff. I have not yet. I just started disc two. Um, of uh, volume, I'm sorry. I just started uh, the second disc of season one, so that's where I am. But I, you, you weren't digging it, were you? Oh no, I love it. I think You're liking. I, okay, I thought you for some reason. I thought you weren't digging animated series. Oh no, I'm. I'm interested in. in uh, I want to finish it. I want to re. I want to see Batman Beyond. I got all three Brave and Bold seasons in GL. 
Those are those are awesome. The Brave and the Justice Bold are League. Awesome. They got to get the I Justice League get... and Justice League Unlimited. And Justice League just got announced with a big box set, right? Yeah, like the complete yeah. box set. Oh, no, I sorry, Superman. 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 Yeah. I want to get the Superman. I want to get the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. I want young, all that stuff. I think it's great. You got to get Young Justice. That's fantastic stuff. That's incredible. That's newer stuff too, as well. Legion. I think they finally released Legion as well. You may like that, yeah. dude. Uh, so you had never watched Batman animated series before, Jess? Um, no. All that stuff was on when my when I was taking care of my daughter and that that wasn't the kind of thing she was interested in watching. So what made you a big um what made you the fan of Bruce Tim that you are? Cuz you have those for lack of a better word <laughs> booby <laughs> booby books. <laughs> is it is it because the boobies were on the book that made you a fan of his art. <laughs> I mean, there's no shaming you. I'm just wondering what made I, you a fan. Of I think, no, it's a legit question. I think that I started loving Harley Quinn first mm -hmm. with the New Fifty Two. Okay, and so it made me explore her origins and stuff. And there's mm -hmm. where I got exposed to Bruce Tim's artwork. Gotcha. And okay, that's where I started digging Bruce Tim. That's what's up, man. That's what I wanted to hear. Cool. Yeah. I'm glad you're liking it, man. Especially because uh, I think the the Blu-rays are done in syndic. Is it done in uh, order that they were aired? Right? It's not so. I believe I, I don't, so. Yeah. The, the man first bat's the first. The, uh, wings of leather. Right. Yeah, man bat. Right. Yeah. Man bat was the. the uh... Cool. Cool. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm totally into it, and I just need to. I was talking to my wife about this last night. I, I need to spend less time on Facebook being an admin and more time. Well, she said more time sp spent with her, but I really. Yeah, 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 we know what you mean. We know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I need to be reading yeah. more comics and watching more TV yeah. and it's, spending uh, less time on Facebook. At, Facebook is such a time suck for me that I have really. I can't imagine you being an admin because you got, and then you get stuck in a rabbit hole of things too. Yeah. So, and and I and I should be watching like eight straight episodes of Batman the Animated Series, and yeah. I'm busy telling some dude he needs to put prices on his books when he advertises them, <laughs> and I just I gotta take a break from that. Yeah, Maybe it's good you for your soul, man. A, it's good for your yeah. soul. Maybe you should take a sabbatical. Yeah. I, I think you're right. You guys, um, not to change the subject, but that box DVD box set that uh, Gabe has on his shelf from Ninja Turtles with the Turtle Band. Are yeah. you guys into the uh, the figures that they've been coming out with, like the Super Seven? They look really like cool, the, but I don't. Oh have any my of them. god, they look amazing! Yep. And the the first wave sold out, right, with Raph mm -hmm. and and so what the Super what Super Seven and I love NECA and all the things they've been doing. And then we get back to the Omnibus really quick, but. They've taken the toys, right? And they made them into just mo like better toys. So they're molds of the toys, not molds of the cartoon or molds of the comics. And I always had this love of the toys growing up. So like Rocksteady looks like his toy, except you know, bigger and more articulation. And dude, I'm 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 so tempted to buy it because I found some on eBay and I'm like, wait, if I get one, I'm gonna get the Thundercats. I'm gonna go down the Thundercats route. <laughs> Do it. They're all they're they did because they did He Man, Masters of the Universe, and now they're doing Thundercats, and they just kicked off the first wave. You're talking about these? No, 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 no. The, these are these are a little more. Yeah, because this is like this is garbage. Ult, I was like, what are you talking ult, about? Ultimate. They're called, they're called the Ultimate uh, Collection. Yeah, you can uh, you can check out the Thundercats on BBTS. Yeah, and um, I think what you're, you're talking eBay, about. eBay is the only place where you can. Yeah, right there. So there's the first there you yeah. wave. You got Raph. You've got uh, Splinter. That's the second wave, I think. Yeah, this is wave two. See how they are. Ooh. I want that mutagen, man. Like it's the toys, though, right? It's yeah. not. It's not the cartoon. It's not the comics. These uh, are the toys, and that's what's cool, dude. That's that, not a toy face for for Leonardo. It, there's two. It? Look, look okay. how look at the, look at the accessories that they give you, right? Like they had to, they give you the accessories that you would have gotten with the toys. Look at Raph, if you don't mind clicking on that one. 
It's it's on ridiculous. The They're about a hundred. Yeah, on the left hand side, where's the super seven? The purple uh, border. Yeah, the purple border. Yeah. Um, the one. So the they had one. to go in. The first or second, it doesn't matter. So the original idea was to give you the weapons, right? That came. Remember, they were all one color, like brown. They yeah. came with the original toys, and then they were like, "Wait a minute, these are sixty dollars toys." Right, we can't do that. We have to <laughs> let's give them some color at least, and then also include those weapons, like the brown weapons. They're awesome, man. So anyway, I almost went down that road. I keep looking at it. I'm like, ah, oh. you got to do it. Great, they look great. Look at that, man. Go like that, it. Raph by himself is like a hundred dollars on uh, eBay right now. And that's I the only. I don't think I ever saw it. What's that, Jess? That's the only place you can find it. Yeah, it's sold out everywhere. Like it, that di like Diamond is gone. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store. Everybody's sold out of the first wave. Second wave, you can still pre-order. But man, I go down this rabbit hole. I know me. I'm gonna be like, I just want the four turtles. No, I don't. <laughs> no, nope, because you need Shredder. All right, Shredder. Then you need Shredder. Need Krang. Look at April. Look how bad April looks if you look at Wave Two. Like April looks like the toy April. Like, she's all busted with big titties and stuff, but still, like her <laughs> face is all messed up. Like, that's the thing I remembered about uh, April growing up, like as a toy. Like the face is all jacked up, but you know the body was pretty banging. Uh, there's Metalhead and Roxanne. Yeah, man, it's cool. Great, dude. Those are great. Yeah, I, oh, my, I little. Like I literally came so close to being like putting a bid on the first four, and I'm like, no, no, I can't do it. If I do this, I'm gonna go down this dark road. I can't do it. <laughs> and that's wave three right there, huh? Yeah, wave two and three and four are up for pre-order right now. Oh wow! Like four, uh, four waves. Oh boy. Oh, we got more coming, dude. <laughs> these these look. The wave one is gone. Yeah. Wave one is gone, and and. I, I like these more than I do the NECA ones. The NECA ones are expensive, too, but I think these are toy accurate, and that's the stuff I grew up collecting. But, all right, back to books. Sorry, I didn't mean to distract you. All. No, this is great. I love yeah, that. I, I just noticed your uh, turtle van up there. I love that DVD box set. Yeah, it's signed by Kevin cool. Eastman. Nice, nice. Yeah. yeah, I can't afford another hobby, guys. So, <laughs> books are it. Let's talk about books. Oh God! I know I'm gonna break and get the Thundercats <laughs> before the show's <laughs> over. <laughs> did you <laughs> before the show's over? Before the show's over, God help did me! You, did you haul anything to you? Uh, no, I did not. Nothing. Okay. What about you, Jess? What'd you get, I man? Did. Let's see. Uh, just a small amount. <laughs> get ready. So to see what that means. Yeah. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> oh, look at you, man! Hauling big. Hey. You can still get this, Jess. Still available. That Amazon. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> You're like, uh, I'm a connoisseur of the video games. That's why I got this. Uh, Taylor Brown and I somehow got uh, ourselves interested in the uh, Marvel Noir. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. I remember that short-lived stuff. Some of them yeah. were pretty good, man. We yeah we wondered about them and so we went searching for them. Um, I have both Spider Man and he has a Spider Man com complete collection. I have the first X Men one. Here's the Wolverine and the X Men. I didn't. I've never read that one. I didn't even know there was a Wolverine and the X Men. Uh, this one I got lucky and found it used for twenty one bucks, which is cover price but otherwise it's really pricey damn um i just got lucky and and um found it from a third party seller so i like, I like frank terry yeah and we're waiting for uh, i don't know for a couple more to come in and then we're gonna do a video on them because we've never read them and they sound i mean they sound fun and i think isn't this the spider man from spider man noir mm -hmm. Yeah, he's missing his top hat, but that's him. Top hat? Yeah, yeah. man. Oh, he, had a, he had a bowler hat, right? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what it was. Yeah, detective hat. All right. Uh, Kemi Jacob was uh, one of the Omni Pups, and he uh, was kind enough to find this for me. Uh, Resurrection mm. of Ghoul. 
Um, so yes. I can find this. Not collected anywhere else. Complete. Right. <laughs> TC man, I swear. <laughs> dude, 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 no, no shit. That omnibus that you have, Gabe, the Baldini one. Yeah. They don't. They don't even acknowledge it's a crossover. They literally put in part three and the finale. They don't tell you like where you can read the rest. You're literally if you were the first time reading Paul Dini's Batman, you're gonna be so freaking confused because like it's the third part of this crossover event. And then of course they add the fact that they don't put any page numbers in there. That always helps. <laughs> God, that pissed me off, man. <laughs> you know, because they it's like a don't even like it was a slap in the face to get the table of contents and not include the page numbers. Like, why even do the work of doing the table of contents? Well, it wasn't it was the uh, it was the blackest night that was the opposite, right? It had page numbers, but didn't have a table page of numbers, contents. no table of contents. Yep. <laughs> now, at least the Grant Morrison Batman Omnis, at least they give you like a brand new page drawn by I think it was Doug Mankey, if I'm not mistaken. And it kind of tells you a little blurb as to what was going on in Detective and Nightwing and Red Robin at the time, or Robin at the time. But the, the Detective is just like, ah, you're on your fucking own, man. Good luck. Have fun reading this crossover that we're not including. <laughs> <Got to. laughs> um, I also got uh, Aquaman oh. in trade paperback to go with my two hardcovers. Thanks. <laughs> this is the one that they didn't release in a hardcover? Yeah, yep. volume three. Uh, Where does it say Volume Three? Tiny type right there. Uh, volume Three. That's right. You're tearing me apart. That's that right. Sucks. Um, but for some reason, I was missing this. I like this series. I was missing uh, the first one. Uh, so I got this. They're re-releasing those because of some Netflix series I didn't know about. Right. Yep. Netflix is going to be a series. Uh, one of my favorite all-time comics, Lady Mechanica, came out. Number six. Whoa, dude, you get those in trade and in hardcover? Yeah. I love you, Jess. You are the, <laughs> you are the reason why we have hardcovers, because you're getting the, the trades. Look at this art, man. Oh, I know. I'm a, I'm a big Benitez fan, too. Joe oh, Benitez, right? Yeah. yeah. This guy you know, I, it took me a long time to appreciate his art. Actually, it wasn't until this run because I wasn't a fan of his during his uh, Justice League short stint. And uh -huh. he had what was what was his image title, Gabe? Do you remember? It was something with uh with Mark Silvestri. So I'm sure it had something to do some, with cyber. Some kind of we yeah, uh, Witchblade 15 or something. It was yeah. Was, I just remember it was a team of people. But anyway, I really like this. Yeah, I love Lady Mechanica. I don't know why. It just really, really strikes me as fun, interesting comics. I just really love Lady Mechanica. Dude, I know this is a... Uh, oh, my God. Madame. It's the Paul Dini book with Kenneth Ra Rockefort. You have that, right? That image book. What is it Madame, called? Madame... Madame, Madame, Madame Sanadu? That's it, yeah. You've got that, right, Jess? We've been talking Madame about Paul Dini. Yeah. The Vertigo book, or...? I thought it was Image for some reason. It could Madame, be Vertigo. Madame Xanadu is a DC character. Mm, Top Cow. No? Maybe. Uh, I can go put my Madame hand... Mirage. Right Madame Mirage is what I'm looking at. What are you looking at? Kenneth Rockaport and Paul Dini's character, man. This right here. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, yeah. This. We've been talking about Paul Dini, so I was like, oh, yeah, you and I have never talked oh, about this book. Madame Mirage, I don't know anything about that. Okay, first of all, dude, uh, Paul Dini? I see that. Kenneth Rockefort? That's all you need to know. Yeah, yeah that art is great. Can you that? This, uh, oh, buy it and read it, and then we'll talk about it. Because this is uh, released through, I, I knew it was Image, but it's Top Cow. I was close. Is, what, is it impossible to find now? No, I don't think so. I think it's pretty widely. Wow. I'll make a video tomorrow, and I'll make I'll make it really hard. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say this. Gonna I'll make a video. Gonna hop it up. <laughs> I I hop it up. It. This is what I thought you were talking about. No, I got the name mixed up. I knew okay. it was Madam something, but yeah, dude, yeah, Re I think you you'll like it. Okay, and then I got well, a crossover too. Ah, uh, yes. Hopefully, Wait. we'll get that hardcover. Well, you will now that I bought two volumes of it in paperback. Yeah. I think there's a third one, right? To wrap it up, or is it uh, two? No, it ends on two, Taylor Brown yeah, told yeah. me. 
That's the last uh, one. Okay. Um, I'm waiting for that oversized hardcover. Yep. Here's an undersized hardcover. Joe Hill, Basketful of Heads. OHC. HC. It's, oh, it's standard. Oh, God bless. Okay. Yeah. I you got excited. Oh, you, I thought you said OHC. Well, thank you for no. making the oversized hardcover happen soon, Jess. It's uh, it's yeah. compared to um, Star Wars Age of Resistance, it is a smaller experience. Yeah. And those are the books I got. Man, what a boner sinker. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping that was going to be an OHC. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Of all the things, that line didn't get an OHC to start off with. They're probably milking it. They're probably milking it. Well, it's Joe Hill. I mean, they'll be an honor. You know, I, I figure. Well, they're, they're you. You know what? You they probably are like the curse of the white knight and the, Tom King's uh, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. We all knew. We all knew. Mister Miracle was going to get a OHC. Right. We still mm -hmm. bought it. I bought it. You got oh, the yeah. standard hardcover. Who doesn't have the standard hardcover in this group? My hat, I just signed it sketch. I just have I the know. tray paperback. You never upgraded, Jess? Mm -mm. Oh, I, damn, Jess. Okay. Well, I guess that just makes me and Omar stupid. I mean, I guess me and you are the only dumbasses <laughs> in Omni Pros. <laughs> <laughs> but then you got us to thank for making that OHC happen, Jess. So. Thank you. It's well, nice to, have, to be on the receiving end of the OHC part of it. Uh, oh, good. Good, good. Yes. That comes out uh, next month. Next month, man. Nice. Nice. October is gonna be another murder month. Is it? Uh, yeah. it's, it's not as bad as September. September's really, really bad. But October, there's a couple of weeks I think in October that are kind of crammed. But hmm. uh, was that it? What did we talk about? Reads? Did y'all read anything? We haven't talked about reads yet. Nope. I did nothing but read Legion of Superheroes and X Factor. Uh, oh. Is that Legion of Superheroes five years later? Yeah, yeah. Did you get it? Did you buy it? Uh, I don't have it yet, but yeah, I did buy it, and I'm very excited for it. Should I be? Should I, I be think excited? I think you I think you'll like it. I think you have enough knowledge to jump right into this middle of a storyline that you're thrown in. Like it's uh, uh <laughs> it's something. It's a lot of work. But man, oh, really? it was, it's a it's a damn good payoff. I I really liked it. Not that it matters, right? Because it's all it's all erased from history anyway. Because yeah. of zero, zero hour, right? But okay. still, it was a pretty interesting time. Like somebody in my comments said, it was um, it was like Vertigo for Legion of Superheroes because it was dark. I mean, it was it was up there with some of the things like in you know, The Dark Knight Returns. And uh, vertigo stories like that, I can see that. Omar, the Infinity Gauntlet and Hulk two omnibuses. You better rephrase that damn sentence, Taylor, if you're gonna ask silly ass questions like that. Uh, still coming out October 28th. IST has Infinity Gauntlet on the 21st, but I know their dates can be wonky. Yeah, don't uh, don't go by IST dates. Uh, because they they do not have the time to update that stuff. So I, both are still in previews world for the twenty eighth, but anything can happen. Anything can happen, man. So I hope they come out. Omni boost is silly ass. I didn't come up with it. I just like saying it because I know it stirs some people crazy. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Salt on that, yeah. And that's what I love doing. You can ask my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever let me find out what you don't like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that, yeah, that was it for me. And then I've read. Uh, have in, any of you all read Far Sector, the new DC title? No, not. It hasn't uh, been collected yet. I think the first six uh, comes out uh, in trade sometime in a couple months. Uh, it's actually really solid. I really like it. It's, um, I think uh, it's worth. It's it's definitely worth checking taking it out. I had heard good things about it. Yeah, it's really good. Reading that for older new reader tomorrow. Can't take, 
Jess, look at this comment. I love it. Can't take Legion Superhero seriously with a guy called Bouncing Boy on the team. Totally with you. I could not agree more. <laughs> I That's love it. I love it so much. I, I love it. And uh, Shadow Lass and Duo Damsel. Yeah. Princess Projector. Sure. Yeah. And oh, Matter Eater Lad. He can eat iron. Hey. Or that dude, that dude, that dude didn't even make it to five years later. He was gone. <laughs> Matter eater lad. Oh yeah, man. He didn't they kill him off in the Magic Wars? Uh, <laughs> it was during Paul Levitt's run. Oh. But anyway. Yeah. I had to do a lot of research for. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh, doing an advanced overview of that tomorrow. That's that's the other book I just started reading. I just got it in today. This is the Marvel Classics Comics Omnibus. It is really, really interesting. I can say that. It is really, really interesting. Do you think it's that um, well? I think there's a niche for things like this out there. I mean, like, there's always a niche for Golden Age books and hmm. uh, books that, you know, the cool the cool kids aren't getting. I don't know. Maybe the cool kids are the ones reading that stuff. Um, most of us are probably... Absolute Carnage, you know, War of the Realms. But there's a few people that probably, like, I remember reading that back in grade school. So. Cool. <laughs> Little tip out there for everybody. Uh, Irredeemable Omnibus is $33 on Nozama. 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 Go to Nozama. <laughs> It's uh, the, I think sold other, out quick, dude. The other book came out too. They did the uh, incorruptible is incorruptible. You could pre-order it. I think it's coming out this week. Okay, I think. Uh, oh, no! Well, I thought they both came out last week. No, um, I think yeah, they both sold out, didn't they? Yeah, uh -huh. they both sold I out. Know they they were, both came out last week. They're both I, sold out at Diamond. I pre-ordered mine from Amazon. It's coming in this week. Amazon gets things like a week or so later, though. Okay. Well, that's stores. where I, that's where I got it. Yeah, I pre-ordered it because I never saw it. I don't think I ever saw it on IST. And that's yeah, never that's been released in, in hardcover. Correct. That, that is straight up soft cover omnibus material right there. Yeah. Man, I think sometimes Boom is just scared of their material. They're <laughs> like, "Come on, man! You know people are buying these things. Look at Power Rangers and..." Well, never mind. Hey, have some confidence in your in your product because that's irredeemable is incredible. And they got a lot of incredible stuff at Boom too. Okay, yeah. Adrian saying he got incorruptible last week. Okay. Yeah. So did Joe Guzman. Yeah. Okay. I. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? I think I did see it on ISD, but I didn't decide I wanted it until it had already sold out. Yeah, because we talked about it last last week. For like thirty minutes, yeah. Those two on the you guys talked about. Don't wonder they sold yeah. out. We were really like, I, yeah. we really dug into like why we love it so much. <laughs> yeah, Irredeemable was freaking excellent. Yeah, That's, I cannot believe they let those hard covers just go out. I guess that nobody knows about that book still. Well, people know about it. it. Freaking gone, man. <laughs> Recently. Super finished chat. my JMS. Thank you for the super chat, brother. Uh, AMS Volume 1. Best stories I've read in a long time, including since past. Uh, I know my <laughs> homie Omi hates it, but it was <laughs> Omi Omi. Him. And memorable. Omi. I haven't Omi been called Omi. that since uh, grade school. And uh, since past. Oh, okay. That's cool, man. I'll keep my thoughts to myself. But that's <laughs> awesome. I'm gl no, seriously, I'm, I'm glad you liked it. How? Like, oh, since past. Yeah, the uh, you know what though the, the real the, the real test is gonna come from in one more day. Well, I guess it all depends on how you see uh their relationship, right? Uh, I mean, if he'd liked since past, I think he'll like brand new day, one more day, all that stuff. Dude, but. dude, no, since past made people stop reading Spider Man. One more day made people stop reading comics. There's a, <laughs> know, but, yeah. there's a huge hatred for that book. Like oh I know, but there, there is a huge hatred for what they decided to do in one more day. <laughs> but I guess we'll see. I wonder what they hated more that or what Dan Slot did with Superior Spider Man. That was another one that people swore off Spidey for a while. 
really oh, they did seven, the seven hundredth yeah. issue. Yeah, because you didn't because people are how do I put it? like I don't um, know naive sometimes when it comes to these things. Do we really think that Doc Ock is going to be Spider Man from now on? Like no, apparently a lot of people do. Yeah. I don't Great think it's. Me. I don't think it's naivety, and they, they thought that he was going to stay Spider Man. I think just some people. It's more the Peter Parker character than it is Spider Man. How many people thought uh, John Paul Valley was going to stay uh, Batman? Right? Okay. Besides, Gabe's dumbass. <laughs> 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 These things are not forever, man. I know somebody, but that's somebody, another thing. That somebody will come along and the boat off. on. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Eldar, uh, it's 4 a.m. in Israel right now. Did you stay up till 4 a.m. or did you get up to watch us? Were you, you, wow. you partying all night or did you wake up at 4 a.m. to uh, like feed the baby or something? I want what to believe you at 4 a.m. that he set up an alarm and woke up to watch us. That's what I want to believe. <laughs> He's committed to the uh, Omnibros. Lifestyle. I like I like that I like that Geo. Thank yeah. you so much for uh, joining us at four a.m. Four a.m. Yeah. Um, and uh, we have What's somebody from. Uh, uh, wait, where was uh, uh, Sri Lanka? We have somebody from Sri Lanka. It was five mm -hmm. uh, thirty a.m. there. Nice. Thank you all for watching from across. Yeah. The I mean, and everybody see? else. Don't forget to subscribe. We're all, we're like less than fifty away from that four thousand mark. Nice. Give us a thumbs up. Check out our Patreon. Uh, yeah. The middle of a plug since we got almost two hundred people sitting in the chat right now. Oh yeah. This Did you want to talk about Patreon? That's all? happened to me. Wow. That that's a bad feeling. That's that happened sucks. to me with yeah. with amiibos. <laughs> Not not omnis. It's happened to me with amiibo, so I get the I get it. That that sense of loss. It's not fair. Yeah. Yeah, that's like when I try to get those Fantastic Four posters from Mondo. Oh man. <laughs> so it's six thirty now in uh, Sri Lanka. Nice. Speaking, Thank you so much. Speaking of amiibos, did you get the new ones? Uh the hero and um Joe Persona, Persona. Uh, yeah. I, I think I pre-ordered those. They should be coming from somewhere. What game nice. is that? Uh, it's the Smash Brothers, the little trophies you collect. Oh, okay. I, I remember. Well, so at the ending of the Nintendo sixty four game, like the very Something end, like a bunch of, bunch of little trophies fell. Oh, the physical amiibos. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I was. I remember telling uh, my brother, "I'm like, man, if they ever come out with those, like in real life, I'm gonna buy them all." And they finally did it. My dumb ass has bought them all. <laughs> I have a man of my word for Animal Crossing. I'm a man of my word. Oh, yeah. Oh, $5. Super chat. Enjoying those Dr. Afra HC and trades you sold me, uh, Jess. Uh, thank you. Well, thank you. well, that's so. Jimmy's such a good guy. He. He paid you money for books, and he's paying you money to tell you that he's enjoying them. Damn! <laughs> right on! Wow. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. What a guy. That's awesome, man. He is a good guy. Yeah, Jimmy's yeah. great. Uh, you can read Corruptible completely separately. Yeah. Um, you can read Incorruptible right after Irredeemable. That's how I did it, and everything was fine. Def you definitely do not need to read them together. Just read one right after the other. Read ir Irredeemable first and then read Incorruptible. That is my advice. Can uh, can He-Man beat Thor in a fight? Here's no. a better question, and here's a better situation. This is their alter eagles fight. I want to see uh, Prince Adam fight Donald Blake. Yeah, I want to see a little kid fight a man with a handicap. <laughs> okay. Handy capable. That's better. Handy capable with a disability. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's look at some. Uh, wait. Read. Read. What did you read, Geo? Uh, I haven't read, but I am starting to read for mm -hmm. my channel. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Skyward eventually. Ooh, nice. Great. And 
I'm going through the Fables book, so I'm starting volume eight of the Heart. Nice. Oh, nice. Go on with that. Good job. So I was supposed to start earlier, but I didn't. <laughs> so after this, I'm going to start reading this. Love Skyward. And uh, I'm a big fan of Skyward, too. I'll be picking up that OHC when it comes out. I'm upset that you guys are getting that hardcover. What do you mean, you guys? You're not? No, I already got the trades. Why would I? Yeah, Never mind. This is I'm Omni Bros, Geo. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> we ain't no punks. <laughs> Thank you, Make Havoc. All right, Make Havoc. How's it going, buddy? J Jess knows what's up. I get nothing but compliments when I wear this shirt. I get stopped all the time when I wear this shirt out in public. Absolutely. Yeah. Same with the Reptar one. Yeah. The Reptar one, my, I was in my doctor in the doctor's office, and she complimented me on that. She goes, is that a Rugrats shirt? It was <laughs> awesome. My doctor said that. Wait, uh, both of you have the same shirt? The same I, yeah. We're going to plan it out. We both have Reptar shirts, and we both have the Hey Arnold shirts. Yeah, we're going to plan it out one day. We're going to dress alike. So you missed out on Nightmare Before Christmas, but you watched Rugrats and Hey Arnold because your daughter was at that age where she was watching those? Yeah. She was too scared of Nightmare oh, Before Christmas to watch. Yeah, I can see that. You can watch it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I, just I would have love to experience that movie for the first time again. Oh, yeah. You're lucky, Jess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it as good as Grandma's Boy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't believe you sold him on that movie. Oh, my God. I love that movie. Because that movie's fantastic. Oh, yeah, you I'm need glad, to go see I'm, Sex I'm, Drive I'm, next. Sex I'm Drive glad you next. liked it, man. I'm glad oh. you liked it. Uh, well, uh, just Linda Cardellini is oh, yeah. such a That's great actor. She's awesome as uh, Velma. <laughs> oh wait, did you ever watch a uh, Mad Men? Uh, no, yeah. is she in that? She's in one season of Mad Men, and her character is freaking so amazing. Oh, oh, just worth it for for her character. Yeah, she's mm. in the show right now that my wife watches with uh, Christina Applegate. Christina Applegate. Oh yeah, yeah. I need yeah. to see that. Yeah, I need to see that. I like both of those actresses. Grandma I had no idea it was a classic. Yeah, see? <laughs> okay. I stand corrected. I've only seen it one time. <laughs> uh, I read Crowded on my uh, iPad. This was a good read. I liked it a lot. This I read with, um, uh, with Kristen. She recommended it. Um, it's about uh, sort of a parallel Earth, which could be happening now, where there's an app. This is the little sign for the app, the skull, uh, where you sign up on the app to have someone murdered. And it's a crowdfunded murder <laughs> for a month. And if that person gets murdered, you get the bounty. Uh, if, if the person stays alive, after the month, you, she gets to go, he or she gets to go free and live their life. And this girl here in the white jacket has like a $2 million bounty on her all of a sudden. And the whole world is after trying to kill her. This is her bodyguard. This is a woman named, I forget, Flint or Fez or something. I can't remember her name. Um, this is volume two, actually. Um and there's the dog who's the real star of the um, the uh, comic, but it's all about it's all about how everything is either crowdfunded or an app or both. She finds her bodyguard on an app. Um, you get all your food on an app. Your car is on an app. Everything's on an app, and everybody in the world is chasing this woman, trying to kill her, and she's trying to keep her alive. And the woman is um, not telling her yet why the world is out trying to kill her. The art is fantastic. I love it. Um, and it's all about their adventures at trying to keep her alive and find out why um, all these uh, people have paid to kill her. 
It's two volumes. It ends on a cliffhanger. I could have killed Kristen because I was <laughs> in the third volume right away. It's so compelling and interesting. I loved it. And uh, I highly recommend Crowded. It's on Image. And it's by uh, Christopher Sabella, who I, I love his work. And I highly recommend Crowded uh, to everyone out there. The art is great and the writing is great. And the whole concept is cool. So that was one thing I read. Then I read The Astonishing at Man again for the Omnicat show. I love this book. It's and, the Nick Spencer one, right? Yeah. We have reviewed love, that. I remember a couple of years ago on this channel. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, yeah, right. We we read that um for this channel. I love this book and I yeah, can't that's, that's a good book. Yeah. It's a lot and of fun. you have the dad too with the daughter Jess. I bet you get a little bit more out of that story. Um yeah, I would definitely live in a dollhouse that my daughter had picked out if uh, that was a way to be closer to her. A Barbie dollhouse, shrink down and live in it because I didn't have any money for rent. I thought it was ingenious and hilarious. This whole book is great. And then I read, let's see, I read a bunch of young adult novels from DC to do a uh, young adult video I did, the Pop on Omni Dogs Vault right now on YouTube. Uh, I didn't have time to put this one on, Wonder Woman, Tempest Tossed, um, <laughs> Lois Lane and the Friendship Challenge. I didn't really care for this one. It was kind of meh. I've already read this one. This one's great. Green Lantern's Legacy, freaking fantastic. Zatanna and the House of Secrets. Oh, my oldest daughter loved that book. She thought yeah. it was cute. It was fun. Really fun. I dug that. Shadow of the Batgirl. This one's good. And then my three favorites that aren't called Superman Smashes the Clan. I already did a video on that. Were Harley Quinn Breaking Glass. This was great. Mariko Tamaki, really funny and amazing art. The color pal palette changes like every other page. And Harley Quinn is funny as hell in this, and it's really good. That has a statue coming out. The uh, Breaking yeah. Glass one? Yeah, that version of Harley has a statue coming out. Ooh, I Super. wish you had told me And I really enjoyed Mira Tidebreaker. I need oh, to yeah. read that. She is from Zebel, sent to kill Arthur Curry, because Zebel mm -hmm. is at war almost with Atlantis. Arthur Curry's on land, and they end up falling in love with each other. And Spoilers. Great. Spoilers. Yeah, the art. I think the art is some of the best stuff in this book. Uh, in this uh, line, this art is great. Yeah. And then Oracle Code. Um, Barbara Gordon's a hacker. She accidentally gets shot, and has to go to Arkham uh, um, Rehabilitation Hospital, where she uncovers. Lots of evil and mystery and sounds in the night and experiments gone horribly wrong, ghosts and stuff, and children that are getting um, experimented on that she discovers. And I just gave away a major plot point, sorry. But she's in a wheelchair in this, and she is really great. It's a um, mystery, a thriller mystery. That, Sounds like uh, Gotham Academy. Yeah, a little more advanced Gotham Academy. Yeah, without the being shot in the back situation. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. Nice. Gabe? Have you uh, not much of a reading, but I just wanted to just shout out that I did end up doing... I ended up flipping through. I got two copies of Hard Boiled. Ooh. Frank... Frank Miller's and Jeff Darrell's Hard Boiled. Uh, this is the original version that came out. This is the first edition, and this is the new deluxe that came out. And uh, 
I was uh, I did a little comparison. I loved art in this book. I mean, just by the way, in case nobody understands, before I get into what I was talking about, just the art in this book by Jeff Darrell is just some of the greatest achievements that can never be reached by another comic book artist. Like the art in this book is every square inch of the page is, is drawn on. It's amazing. But what I was trying to get at is the, the old version and the newer version, there's a major recoloring that they did. Major recoloring. Like it's like, it almost looks like it's two different books. They even so, changed some of the tone. So like Swamp Thing? Not so much, but like, like oh. the bottom one here. This is, this is the original version, and you can see the story. I think the storytelling changes. Up top is the uh, the new version, but on the old version, the panels are flashing red because it's like an alarm going off, and they don't do that on the second on the newer version. So just things like that. I thought it was kind of odd yeah. with the uh, recoloring changes that they did, but that's. Oh, this stuff's amazing, though. But look at this. But I was just some of the stuff I, I was I was flipping through and comparing over the last couple of days, just checking that kind of stuff out. Uh, my first edition is signed and sketched by Jeff Darrell too. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, I met him at a comic convention a long time ago. But yeah, well, that's kind of a spoiler. I want to show that page. There's some robot sexiness in a junkyard. Completely drawn by Jeff Darrow. Hmm. Like, just look at that top panel right there. Look at all that crazy noodling bits that he has to do. Love his stuff. Love his stuff. So, that's the only thing I did for for reading wise uh, this week. And uh, I did a comparison that you guys can check it out on my Instagram as well. Some more Ooh. cool shots. All right. I wonder where my coffee boiled is. Reads, Geo? You said no? I showed off the two books that I'm reading, Skyward and... Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, Skyward. Uh, so, reviews. We'll see what's coming out. Yeah. Let's Thank take Chris. A look. Chris, Let's thank you. Oh, give me two seconds. Let me get the other tab up too for DC stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because that's we got to go two different sites now. Oh, you know what I did get? Uh, oh, the Mario game for the Switch. Yeah, man. And oh, I'm pissed off that I missed out on the pins. By the way. Yeah, me too. They're sold out. Oh, you didn't get the pins? <laughs> no, after all I, that. Because I needed this to redeem the final step or whatever, and sucks, I got man. here too late. Oh, you didn't get it either, uh, Omar? No, nah. I'll probably buy it off some fifteen-year-old kid that got ten copies on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I know you really wanted those. Ah, man, they need, get, they need their have pot money. So, have you seen the eBay listings for the pins? Uh, no, I was just joking. How how bad are they? They're at two hundred dollars. Get oh the fuck God. out of here, God. Damn, That's really? Crazy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'll look it up on eBay. It's just pins. Nope. It's 200 bucks. I'm like, okay, I'm out of here. Ah, man. That ain't <laughs> that. Ain't that. <laughs> That's like four or five Omnis. Um, why don't, don't I go to all these 20? Before we do previews, uh, let me announce. Oh, the yeah. I have a gift card giveaway so people can start sending in uh, their names. This is the IST $50 gift card giveaway. In the subject line, just put IST gift card. That's all you have to put. And in the body of the email, just put your email address that you use at IST. And send this to omnibroslive at gmail.com. It's right down there in the, the very bottom right there. Yep. And you send, again, the, in the uh, subject line, you just put ISD gift card and your address in the body of the email that you get your IST uh, books charged to whatever that you use with IST. Um, yeah. 
So uh, everybody start sending in if you want the $50 gift card at IST. And at the end of previews, I will do the random number generator. Awesome. No questions. Everybody get, jump in. Now there's a, another super chat from Jimmy Owens. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank Question you. from Mr. Thank awesome. You. Wow. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Oh, that's nice. So that was the original idea, right? That's what JMS wanted. Would Sims pants have have been better if Peter was the dad of Gwen's kids instead of Norman? I think I think it would have been better. I don't know. There's when you're looking at old characters like that, there's a certain purity to those characters, right? Like in the uh, the Marvel Silver Age, and I think it just do you, everybody here knows what happens when we talk about Sims past, right? I, I don't want to spoil mm -hmm. anything. Uh, how the hell do I? Sp there are people in the chat that may not have read it. To okay, to have her paired up with that other character that is the father of her children was just a huge slap in the face to to readers and the memory of Gwen Stacy to the, the creators as well. So uh, I think Peter being the father of the twins would have worked a little bit better, which was the original idea that JMS wanted to do. However, editorial said, no, let's do it this way. Um, so, uh, have at it. It's a weird retcon, but <laughs> retcon nonetheless. I don't think one more day fixed that. I think that's still in continuity, by the way, of all the stories. So somebody asked somewhat fixing it later on, but it didn't work. Since return, since um, they all oh, they added to the stupidness of it. Since past is perfect. That's awesome, man. I'm glad you really like it. There's a lot of people that uh, there's a lot of people that really like it. Yeah, I like Avengers: The Crossing. So, what do I know? Somebody asked if the uh, hard boiled was hard to find. I just did a quick search on eBay, and I can't find. The trade or the hardcover. Uh oh. Where'd you get the hardcover? You said you just bought it, right? Uh, local shop. Hmm. I still buy a lot of stuff at local other comic book stores in town. I have a couple honey holes out here uh, that just always seem to have great stuff on their shelf, like out of print books and things like that. So, so hard boiled the second edition by Frank Miller, the hardcover. That one came out in 2017, Dark Horse. Oh, Dark Horse, these things are going to be ridiculous. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's that easy to find. Yeah, it's weird. I didn't realize it was to be so hard to find. Dude, I, like, after this, I need to actually go out and get that damn... Uh, I think there's a, a giant hardcover for... Uh, what was it, Big Guy and Rusty? What was the other Freak Killers Drift there? Oh, Rusty yeah, Robot. Rusty Robot. Yeah, I have to go get that stuff. But it's been forever since I looked through uh, Hard Boiled. And I did a I comparison. Like... I was like, oh, man, I got to. What's. Oh, my God. Didn't they do, a, didn't they do a cartoon? Yeah. 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 Mm, that's what I thought. So we're going to start this previews and then, and then get to the winner. Is that how we do it? Sure. All right. Let's rock and roll then. Yes. Do we need to take off the uh, email or keep going? Oh, am I? Oh, okay. I'm just asking. I'll turn it off. Got I it. think you can do whatever you want. The subject line is um, IST gift card. So for the $50 gift card. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. IST gift card. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look for this week's new releases, releasing September 30th. You'll be able to get these from our awesome sponsor, In Stock Trades, tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, 12 noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. So let's take a look. Jimmy Owens, that's fine. If the words IST are in there, it's fine. IST giveaway, IST gift card, Jess is a god, anything is fine. Uh, what? <laughs> Anything's fine in the in the in the. Oh, god bless. I swear, dude. 
this this whole damn like so the clock is showing on image coming out next week but if previous world is showing it coming out tomorrow then let's go with that uh yeah so we got the clock coming out this week it's so confusing uh <laughs> Uh, running for Ramirez, Going one trade clock, paperback. Is that a good book, Omar? Do you know which one, man? The clock. The clock? Uh, it's one that I've been uh, wanting to check out. <laughs> I, I thought it was coming out uh, next week, not this week. Okay. Monstrous Volume Five. I'll be getting that. Yep. Uh, Olympia trade paperback Volume One. Tartanus trade paperback? I don't even know what, what that title is. Tartarus. Tartarus? Tartar us? Tartar. <laughs> Tartar. Tartar. So that's coming out. Uh, Dark Horse. Uh, we got Disney Princesses Glim, Glow, and Laugh trade paperback. Uh, <laughs> Umbrella Academy Deluxe Limited, Limited Edition Hardcover Volume 3 for Hotel Oblivion. And then the uh, standard library hardcover, volume three for Umbrella Academy. Have you all read Hotel Oblivion? I have not. I haven't yet. I have not read a single Umbrella Academy. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Carry on. I'll be oh, getting the, the library edition. No, I just, just thought you're, I wanted to see what your thoughts were. I read the first two, but I haven't seen this at all. Okay. Uh, IDW this week, their sole <laughs> release is Life in the Stupid Verse. I love the, the the writer and artist Tom Tomorrow. That can't be real. <laughs> that can't uh, be real. Marvel Comics this week, uh, starting off with the Epic Collection. Uh, epic Collection for Conan Chronicles. Not okay. Uh, uh, I mentioned this on my video this morning. If you have the colossal Conans, this stuff is not in it. This is the this is the stuff that's in between uh, the Conans, the Sumerian, and King Conan. So mm. it's the road to King Conan. It's by Roy Thomas, who is an amazing, probably the best Conan writer, and then Brian Wood. And there's another volume after this that finishes out Brian Wood's run, and then we get to the King Conan stuff. Nice. Carry on. And sorry. then you got uh no great great interjection for sure. Uh Daredevil by uh Chip Zdarsky, volume four, end of hell. Uh Doctor Strange, uh Ditko is strange king size hardcover. Nice. Uh the Illid. Uh this is the uh, Marvel Classics comics omnibus that you were talking about earlier, Omar. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll be and doing then, an overview of that tomorrow morning. What what is this stuff? It's just all just so the, uh, it's, their license it's just, stuff at the illustrated. Yeah, it collects issues thirteen through thirty-six, I think, of the Marvel classics. Yeah, thirteen through thirty-six. Mm. So it's pretty much stuff like Frankenstein and the Count of Monte Cristo, done in comic book style. I think in the eighties they released. Uh, these were released with a re-released with a uh, tape, so you can listen to it, like a cassette tape, so you can listen to the words being read to you. Wow, pretty interesting. There's a lot of deep history behind that. It's a it's a thing I knew nothing about until um, it was announced a few months ago, or last last month, or last year. God bless, it's been a while. Oh, Spider Man loves Mary Jane. Dude, my uh, wife loves that with series. Paperback. Wife loves that series. Uh, Venom Rex is getting a Marvel Select hardcover already. And Onslaught X-Men Avengers. X-Men Avengers Onslaught Tree Paperback Volume 2. So it did look like New Mutants slipped stuff. into the next week. Yeah, I know you do. We'll be getting one more. This is the second volume. We got one more after that. Uh, Boom Studios. Uh, Envant Guards down to the wire original graphic novel. Uh, Buffy Vampire Slayer Legacy Edition Tree Paperback Volume 2. Nice. And uh, Heartbeat. Trade paperback. Uh, real and quick. down here. All right, sorry, Gabe. Uh, Mr. Austin awesome points out that we got 200 plus people in the chat. That's awesome. What? Nice. Another great week, nice. man. 
another great week for it. Oh, we got a super chat that says we're cute. You're all uh, cute. Thank you, Billy. Thank we you, Billy. appreciate that. Wow, thank you, sir. So we got this is the manga section. This is the cute section. Let's see. Again, I'll just scroll through here see if anything wants to uh, pop out. And of course, Gio, if you want every other if you Thursdays, want, if you want good psychological horror that will traumatize you, then pick up Blood on the Tracks. I can't mm. even talk about what it is because it's a spoiler, but it is terrifyingly great and creepy. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't look like it from that cover. <laughs> oh, it, it, it's, how it's about, pretty messed up. How about Bronx Heroes in Trumpland? What? Uh, oh, I, I get it now. I, I, I... <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> They're really uh riding that uh Ooh, oh, hey, castle in the stars. Nice chainsaw man. Hell Hold yeah. Up. Hold up. Everybody get chainsaw man. Do it for me. It's badass. You you will love it. It's one of my favorite reads of the year. Oh, it's volume one? Like yeah. yeah. Oh chainsaw all... man, yeah. And it's don't awesome. forget to get Castle in the Stars, volume four. And, and Castle in the Stars too. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but Chainsaw really, Man is freaking awesome. That's the guy that did uh, Doro Hedoro, right? No, this is uh, Fire Punch, dude. Fire Punch, that was the series. Thank you. Uh, did we see, uh, pay oh. attention to Jimmy Owens' um, yep. most yeah. recent super chat? We got a super chat from Jimmy. Question from Roger. Don't worry, I was going to send this anyways. Omar, do you oh. recommend getting the Conan Chronicles epics? Yes. So the Chronicles are the Dark Horse years. Uh, we know we're going to get one omnibus, but we don't know if they're going to follow with Tim uh, Timothy Truman's stuff or Brian Wood's stuff. But we are going to get the Gert Busick stuff. So I, I I I I really like the Chronicle epics. They're great. Same way that they're doing the Star Wars stuff. Yeah. So yeah, if anybody wants to get any manga, I do suggest. Chainsaw Man. It's hellish. It's fantastic and bloody as hell. But uh, it's so much fun. <laughs> Some Demon Slayer. Slayer. So great. Yep. Deadpool. What's that Deadpool book? Comedy or comeback creator? Hmm. More than. Oh, it's a joke book. One hundred fifty thousand retorts from the Merc with the mouth. All right. Eh, eh, eh. Day one order. <laughs> Look at that. Gudetama has hardcovers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Invader Zim. That's a great series. Did you? Hey, uh, Geo, sorry. Really quick. Do you know anything yeah. about this Kino's Journey? Is it the original Kino's Journey? Uh, or, is, I think or, is, or is it a new retelling of it? I think it's a retelling. I might be mistaken, okay. but I think it's a retelling. Okay. Uh, I was a fan of the original stuff, so I didn't know. Oh, wait a minute. They're finally releasing Kimagure, Orange Road. Hell yeah. Yep. I've, I've got all the Kickstarter books, but awesome. Good for good. Good. It's so good. I love that stuff. It's old 80s manga, man. Nice. Uh, yep. Octobriana right here is uh, from one of the guys from uh, Cartoonist Kayfabe, Jim Rugg. Uh, it's an all uh, glow in the dark, or a black light, excuse me, black light comic book. Oh, that's awesome. Taylor agrees. Hey, man. You're Academia, Academia 25. Yeah. Yep. One Punch Man. We're like three books or two books behind uh, the Japanese release. So this is uh, putting them out every four or five months. So, of what? Yeah, My Hero Academia? Of, yeah, we're two books oh, okay. behind the, the ones in Japan. They're at volume 27. All right, let's take a look at the DC, uh, DC releases for this week. 
Uh, Batman Detective Comics Volume 3, gr Greetings from Gotham. That's part of the Peter J. Tomasi stuff. With, uh, Doug, Doug Monkey on it. Uh, Batman Night Out. Oh, that's that Chuck Dixon run. Oh, sweet. Oh, oh um, I am all over that. This is uh, some orphaned issues yes. from the later part of Chuck Dixon's run. So it's 703 to 718. Yeah. Oh, nice. Stuff's never nice. been collected. Graham Nolan. Oh, Chuck Dixon and Graham Nolan, man. Yep. Freaking amazing. That's great. I'll get that. Picking that up. That's that's a great run. And it's kind of, yeah, this is starting to wrap up before the big crossover. I like how they put their names on the computer screen. Hey, they look, they spelled, they spelled Bob McCloud's name right. Not like the New Mutants movie. <laughs> <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> Tell me about it, man. They only had three years to spell oh, it properly. <laughs> Look at you selling your books on eBay. <laughs> no, that was me looking up a uh, hard boiled. Yeah, all right, man. I'm glad it was that, not some other weird shit. Wait, uh, what some... I closed oh. it because uh, the way previews works oh. is when you click on an image, it take, opens up another tab. Here, it's on the same yeah. tab. Oh, I closed huh. it. Uh, definitely uh, get Hellblazer by Cy Spurrier. It is awesome. I, I hate the fact that they canceled this stupid run, man. Like, I agree that with makes that. me so mad. Apparently, it made him mad too. Yeah. Can, can you read that with limited knowledge on the character? Yeah. 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 Cool. He finally, DC gets the voice right, and John Gatsby sounds like himself. He acts like he did in the original 300 issue run. Cy Spurrier nails it and was so proud of it and boom, it gets canceled and I am just bereft. I am sad. It really pisses me off. He is such a good guy and that was such a great it's, they finally got Hellblazer back to where it could it was a good book and they cancel it. Well, Tom Taylor's writing it now, right? He's doing the, the big the big mini series for a uh, black label. Black label, yeah. With Derek yeah. Robertson on the art. Sandman mm -hmm. Theater presents or whatever. Um, gosh, this was good. I'm really, really bummed out. Is this the whole series in this first trade, or? I don't think so. I, th I think that it's uh, one through six. Yeah, and I think we're gonna get at least one more, and they. They may have let him write uh, write eighteen issues. I'm not sure. Does, I'm, I'm out of it because you know I'm just a trade waiter. Um, so I don't. Uh, I can't answer that. Okay. I think there's at least twelve issues, and I think he got a chance to wrap it up. Yeah, okay, that, that, that was my that was my question it. was going to be is if you can read the whole thing if he wraps it up. Yeah, I think there's two trades and he's they gave him a chance to wrap it up. Wrap it up. This next wrap it up, B. Awesome. <laughs> Lolo, Lolo Woods. Woods. Yeah, I think that's the um, uh, the uh, basket full of heads. Uh, Standard size hardcover. I think it's the Joe Hill thing. <laughs> Yeah, this the, is part of the Joe Hill uh, imprint. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Black label. Interesting that the Endless name of the book is at the bottom. Weird. And that's it for this week's releases, everybody. Nice. Man, that's a, a lot of stuff. question for you, Omar. From Hooniverse, <laughs> is there anything collecting Detective 91 to 92 pre-Nightfall stuff? Not really. I mean, once we get the Cape Crusader and Dark Knight Detective. There's nothing really. A couple of trades here and there, but not 91, 92. Um, I was hoping they would do a prelude to Nightfall Omnibus, including the Sword of Asriel stuff, but nah, nothing. Uh, Fables has been pushed back. The Compendium, not an Omnibus, remember, has been pushed until, I think, the second week of October. Yeah, I was going to say that. That omnibus got canceled quick. <laughs> uh, absolute. It was an absolute. They absolute absolute omnibus. Do you remember how happy Mark Buckingham was when we <laughs> told him? Yeah. Oh, God. Poor guy. <laughs> and, and, and then, like, 
That was uh, in Baltimore, right? Baltimore. I have yeah. it on film. The yeah. look on the man's face, he was like, I can't do British accents at all, but he's like, really? He perked oh, he, up. He was so excited. He then was, I feel like I'm just like, nah, man, psych. I'm fucking with you. You ain't going to get that. That's <laughs> <laughs> what I feel like uh, DC, uh, DC did. Thank you so much for the kind words. Thank you. Thank right, you. I'm Audi. Wow, Jimmy Owens. The super chat. Thank One you. One more. Thank you, sir. Wow. I'm out $25 for the day, man. Thank you so Thank much, man. You. Man, that's awesome, dude. Thank you so much. I got some books that I should probably send you just uh, on the house. Is I'll it uh, is it the Devin Grayson run on things. Nightwing? What's that? Is it the Devin Grayson <laughs> run on Nightwing? I got a root beer copy of uh, you <laughs> that I can send you. You got to sign that. I'll, I'll, I'll sign it. You still have a picture here for us to use. Of of what? Uh, <laughs> oh, there, oh. Yes, I put it up there yesterday. What? Uh, did I send that to you guys? No, I or, stole oh, it off your Instagram page. or your Facebook That's the page. <laughs> you did you tag them and Grayson? Please tell me you did. <laughs> I'll put it on Instagram and tag her. Yeah. Really, I mean, we'll oh, get the calls, That's being rude. I hope she calls you a Nazi. <laughs> 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 okay, and the winner. Wait a minute. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Random number generator. We have 164. Wow. Nice. nice. That's Thank almost you. everybody that was watching. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. The random number generator goes to uh, uh, oh, Julio. Julio Jimenez. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Hey. nice. Good guy. Good guy. Good job, Julio. Uh, we have everything we need from you. You filled it out exactly right. Thank you, buddy. I will send this stuff to Omar, who sends it to Emily. And uh, you are the winner. Congratulations, dude. Yay. Moma. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Come uh, back again next, next month when we do this every month. Give away gift cards. Thank you to InStockTrades.com, where you can get your collected editions up to 2% off, 50% off. Loyalty discounts add 2% to that. Uh, as you can see, at the end of the month, we give away a $50 gift card from InStockTrades.com. $50 or more in an order in the United States, you get free shipping, which is a big deal with these big omnis. Fabulous customer service, fabulous packaging. That's in stocktrades.com. I, uh, I, I forgot. I hadn't, um, since I'm not hosting, I didn't pull up the chat. I just now pulled it up. Y'all, some silly motherfuckers in the chat. Julio is not related to me. I am not, like, not everybody with a Latin name is related to Omar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Julio Jimenez is who it is. Julio Iglesias. Julio Iglesias. Gabe, do you think a FF Omnibus by DeFalco and Ryan would be a possibility? Is that run well regarded? That is around Infinity War, right? I want, I would love a Paul Ryan, uh, Tom DeFalco Omnibus. We have a couple epics, at least one epic of that run, but it's like the end of it. Uh, I would love to see that entire run kind of get picked up and put together. Maybe there's only a second epic. There's, there's only epic. one way to do that omnibus justice, and that's to have a direct market cover. I got to get going after this. That's to have a direct market cover to be the variant, and it's Sue Storm's boob window. You know what oh, I'm yeah. talking about. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you, op you open up the, you open it up, and it's a die cut cover of the boob window. Oh man, can you imagine a direct market cover like that? Uh, make it happen. Talk to David Gabriel. Uh, like, hey, man. David be like, make what? I am not going to put boobs on a cover? <laughs> this isn't wow. the Street Fighter swimsuit edition. I want that right now. <laughs> anyway, gentlemen, you all take care. Everybody in the chat, thank you for joining. Where can we hear from you next? Like tomorrow night, maybe? Uh, I will be in uh, on my channel, uh, Near Me Condition. I'll be doing an overview of the Marvel Classics and the... Uh, Old reader, new reader, talking about Far Sector tomorrow at 8. Right. So y'all be good. Julio, primo, después nos vemos.
Y'all be good. <laughs> you just say. What he say? He just cussed me out. What do you say? <laughs> uh, he called out his cousin Julio. Son of a bitch. I like I this pick up my leaves. Julio's in a horse for Peruvian pandemic flute band. <laughs> oh man, I shouldn't laugh, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, oh, is that oh that's a new one no dude there's been nothing but uh grandma's boy uh quotes being thrown up in the in the chat nice. <laughs> i need to see that again but first i know i need to see what is it sex drive sex drive and then watch the director's cut after it okay now i i will uh i'll just buy the dvds is it streaming anywhere? Uh, I don't know. The, um, yeah, Sex Drive is on Netflix, but it's not the director's cut. Oh. Will like, Sterling's King Size come back in stock? The guy that could answer super that chat. probably just left, so I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Thank you for the super chat, uh, Misfit, but I'm, I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, is it still on Amazon? Back in stock. It's a big book, so it would yeah. it would have had to sold really well for them to print that massive book again. Yeah, is it sold out? <laughs> That's surprising. Those big books sell out like that to me. You never know, though. Let me see. I could look it up real fast. Okay. In the meantime, you guys can do your outros or get ready to leave or whatever you want to do. Oh, we can geek them. <laughs> Where can we find you doing what? Uh, I'm putting videos out all week long. I, I rarely do it on my channel, but I already got everything uploaded and ready. So you nice. can watch a whole bunch of content at a We Can Geek Them where I talk about anime, comics, and manga. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be posting my room tour with the Calyx shelf and all that fun stuff. So go check that out on my YouTube channel, A Week in Geekdom. Subscribe if you can. Uh, Rhino23, yes. Black Hammer Library Edition 2 needs to be bought. And if you don't have one, get one first. And save your money because there's another library edition coming out next month for Black Hammer. And you need to get that one too because it's awesome. Gabe, where can we find you? You guys can find me, uh, Gabe Loves 90s Comics, on Instagram. Uh, and for the answer about uh, the Steranko book, it's on back orders. I think there's a pretty good chance it'll be back in stock. Hold tight. Nice. Thank you. See what happens. Maybe. Thank you for that answer. There you go, Misfit. Um, and uh, Billy Nays, I've got love in my heart for you guys. Thank you, buddy. Uh, you can find me, Omnidog, on Omnidog's Vault on YouTube. I'm working on a two-part uh, series on fantasy books, and uh, that will be released this week. And I think Spider Days, Ultimate Spider Days, will be released this week. So I'm not doing a video a day, but I'll try to put out three and try and halfway keep up with Geo. So, oh, and I'm on Instagram, omnidogs underscore vault. Thank you to nice. ISP in Stock Trades, our fabulous sponsor. Thank you to my co-hosts. They are great, great guys. Love these guys. Love you too, chat. Hey, thanks for being awesome. Thanks for the good chat. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for the viewers. And as usual, peace and love, peace and love. Bye, everybody.